Hello! Well, this is my second uh, Johiku that I made. Um, that is the uh, instrument uh, that is from Finland. Um, this instrument I tried to make by uh, observing uh, videos on YouTube. I could not really find any any dimensions uh, for it, uh, so I think I made a few mistakes, which I'll go over. Um, this instrument is played, uh, this instrument has, uh, this particular Johiku has three strings. Um, there are some excellent videos by uh, Pekko Kapi, uh, who uh, has the videos on uh, YouTube here. He has one video where he goes over the scale, goes over method of playing, so I really won't uh, cover that much. Um, this instrument that I made is uh, out of uh, willow, uh, which is a softwood. I noticed that I, I seem to get a lot more volume out of this instrument than the first Johiku I made. So again, I think uh, making this out of softwood uh, probably uh, helps that. Um, it has uh, three strings. Uh, down below you have a large heavy string uh, connected to a piece of wood and then the three uh, strings are then connected to that. I believe it's so that um, you don't have to have a, uh, a string go all the way down here and the string is normally, uh, traditionally rather, uh, horsehair. So I believe the problem was is that you couldn't find a horsehair long enough to do this or you know several, I mean a hundred or whatever. So I think that was uh, circumvented by um, getting rid of uh, the need of having horsehair all the way down here by having this uh, string and, and piece of wood so that the horsehair or whatever the string is only needs to go to here and be able to be uh, tensioned at both sides. Um, in my case I'm using um, fishing line, uh, 0.14 millimeter fishing line. I believe I have um, uh, 30 here and then 25 and then 20. Uh, to allow the different notes to be played when they're all tensioned at the same um, uh, strength. Uh, again, uh, uh, Pepo, Peko uh, goes over this quite a lot, um, but I'll just play the, uh, the strings uh, by themselves. It's um, the middle note you would call the tonic, and then uh, this note over here would be a fourth above that and then over here would be a fifth above it. Uh, the way it is, uh, the way that the um, the scale is played is that uh, because of the bowing of the uh, bridge you only play two notes at a time. Uh, so the middle note uh, is basically a drone note and then the note on this side is the lowest note of the scale and then the note over the string over here is the second note of the scale and then the fingers fret either with the back or with the um, or with the uh, the pads or the, the underside of each finger. Uh, you can play the notes this way or that way. Um, you get the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth note of this um, scale. Uh, one thing I noticed, I think I did wrong, was that uh, I think I made it too wide. So I think if you see the other ones on the internet, you'll see that. Uh, the ratio of uh, width to uh, length is different. I think mine is a little bit too wide. And uh, because of that, I noticed that um, the bridge I had, it was too low. Uh, the bridge was probably about half as high as you see it now. Uh, but when I tried bowing it, I would hit the edges of the instrument. So to get around that, either I had to you know, carve away chunk, uh, chunks of the instrument um, or raise up the bridge. So I raised up the bridge, but I think there's a problem there in that the fingers have a tough time reaching the string when, when fretting. So I think, and uh, any Johiku, Johiku uh, makers, if you, if you happen to watch this video, please let me know what I did wrong, um, or maybe give me some rough uh, uh, dimensions to follow so I could try making another one. So anyways, um, I'm going to play it uh, so you hear how it sounds. Uh, the scale is not going to be correct at all. Uh, again, go to uh, Pecco's uh, website, or excuse me, uh, web page to see that on here on YouTube. So uh, here it goes. As you can see, I'm having a, a hard time 
really think uh, I've messed up majorly here somewhere. So let me try again with the uh, other, other side of my fingers and see if this works. Also, I think they usually have like a cutout here or something like that, so you can, you can put it between your legs real easy, so that way you're not gripping it with your hand. Your hand can be uh, allowed to remain free. torment you anymore with that. Um, again, if you go to his web page, I'm sorry I keep repeating that, uh, you'll hear the scale played wonderfully and uh, you go to any of the other videos, just look up the word uh, Johiku on YouTube and you'll come across a lot of videos of, uh, of people who know how to play this instrument. Uh, anyways, um, that's about it. Thanks a lot. Bye.